Pigeon Pagonis was raised a girl, but didn't learn the truth until a college lecture about an intersex condition. It's called androgen insensitivity syndrome, and her mom later confirmed Pagonis has the same thing. I was like, oh my God, that's the thing the teacher was talking about. This means like a lot of things that I, I have XY chromosomes. Like, and I know from basic biology that men have XY chromosomes, not women. And, and then I went into like a free fall. Here you see this. Sex development disorders affect at least one in 5,000 newborns. A genetic glitch in the womb can blend male and female sex chromosomes or genitals. Cases range from mild to severe. But efforts are underway to change things. This Chicago hospital has a team of specialists help families weigh their options, including whether so-called normalizing surgery should even be considered at all. The way that we took care of things in the past, meaning historically, where there was a fair amount of secrecy, where there was surgery done in the infant state and potentially irreversible surgery, is probably not the best way to go about things. Some advocate waiting until patients are older. We try to figure out what the most likely gender of the child is going to be, and then the child is raised that way. But sometimes we get that gender assignment wrong. And in those cases, it's particularly important that we've not done unnecessary interventions. Take a deep breath. Some parents, like this girl, still choose surgery to shield kids from stigma and shame. They ask that her face not be shown. Maybe you've given your shoulder for Pagonis is now an activist uh, against surgery who doesn't identify as male and or female. I haven't had the privilege of meeting one of us. Well, first of all, I'm sorry. And second of all, I hope you get to one day. Meeting others with similar conditions has helped Pagonis deal with anger and depression. There's this great video by children born with Down syndrome. They speak to the camera and they tell future parents that they're okay, that they have a wonderful life, that they love their parents and they love themselves. Pagona says that's the kind of acceptance intersex people want too. Lindsay Tanner, Associated Press, Chicago.